Hey guys, this is Nathan Ware at Rain Networks with our third video in our Macrium Site Deploy series. And really, I look at this video as probably the most key video in the series because it talks about the deployment media, which is really the heart and soul of what makes this product work and what you need to learn how to use as a new user of this product. So the deployment media section obviously is the third menu item down here under the deployment section. And there's two places that you're gonna wanna center in on. This top one is the deployment ISO that you're going to use for USB-based utilizations of the deployment or uh, something where you're gonna use a boot ISO of some sort, because that's essentially what is produced here in this deployment section. Now, I've already created mine, but there's a variety of scenarios where you might recreate yours and that's done where you'll have a rebuild button when you first come in here to build your media and you'll click this and it will suck the drivers out of the machine that you're working on and it will create the deployment media. It's a Windows pre-boot environment tool. Um, if you use the deployment kit or if you've used the rescue media in other Macrium products before, you may be familiar with how this works. Um, I will be showing how this uh, deployment media works in the fourth video, but this is really how to build your deployment media. Okay, so uh, you're going to start here in the deployment section. You'll hit the build button and it will start building the media. Now this takes a good, in many cases, 10 or 15 minutes. So be patient. It will go through a process. It will show you on the screen that it's building the image. You can see mine is a little over one gig. This is, uh, this is a normal size for the deployment media and um, it has a lot of drivers built into it, so it's gotta compile all those drivers and whatnot, and it's gotta also merge in the Windows PE stuff with it. And so yeah, it'll take a good, say, 10 or 15 minutes to build, and then once it's built, you'll be able to download it. Now when it's downloaded, it will be an ISO file, and uh, we can use this ISO file in a variety of ways. In a virtual machine, we could put it as the uh, boot, uh, boot device, basically almost like inserting a CD drive into the uh, CD tray of the virtual machine, virtual machine, so to speak. Um, we can, as you're going to see here in a second, we can put it on a USB thumb drive. Once we have it on a USB thumb drive, we could then plug that thumb drive into any machine we wanted and boot the Macrium Rescue Media. So let's go to the next step of how to build our thumb drive. All right, if we scroll down here on this screen, there's a rescue USB builder right here. And so you can download and run this. What this looks like, I'll pull this up here, is this tool right here. Now, I don't have a USB device plugged into my uh, machine right now, but if I did, it would show up here in this section. I could then browse and find my deployment ISO. This deployment ISO you see right here is the same deployment ISO that's listed here that I downloaded earlier. Okay, so I would feed it my deployment ISO, click on my USB device, click the create button here and it would start to build that. Okay, so if we were going to use USB deployments, we would build our, our deployment media up here, we would click download to download the file locally, then we would start up the rescue USB builder and start that process. We would now have a working thumb drive at the end of the Rescue USB Builder. One other process here that could be important for you is there is a driver harvesting uh, tool. So if you're on a machine that might have some unique drivers or whatnot, you can uh, download this driver harvester, run it on that machine, it can grab the drivers, and then what you can do is you can put those drivers into this folder, and we'll put a link to this folder in the video, and just drop the driver files in here, and then when you rebuild and re-download your deployment ISO, it will include those drivers into the rescue media. So if you've got machines that you're gonna deploy that have different chipsets or whatever, that can be a very important thing to know how to do. Okay, so essentially you can use the driver harvester on the target machine that you're gonna deploy, go get the drivers and then bring them back here to your site manager server, put them in this folder, recompile your deployment media, re-download it, and away you go. Okay, now the other option here is the Pixie server method. 
Okay, so Macrium site deploy comes with its own Pixie server so that you don't have to set up your own. And kind of similar thing here, I've already built mine, but you'll have a build button up here when you first come here, and it'll essentially build and set up your uh, Pixie server, and then your options are here. Okay, so this is the other method where you're launching the deployment media from a network boot. And so you'll press, you know, whatever F12 or whatever uh, button it would be on, say, whatever machine you're working on to get into network boot mode. It will see this Pixie server and it will launch the deployment media and away you go. You can start using the rescue media that way. In video four, we'll actually go through what it looks like when you're running the deployment media and how that works.